everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is officially hoodie weather. Whoop, whoop. All right, it's almost fall and I wanted to give you guys a quick update on my hunter boots. I went into detail in my other video and I will link that video down below of what type of hunter boots that I have and the color and all that kind of stuff. But this video today is all about how they've held up what I've used them for, just so that you can get an idea of the quality that we're talking about and how you can expect them to look after some use. So first, how I use my boots. I am a light to medium user. I am not just a fashion only user and I'm not like mud and muck user. I'm somewhere in between. So I use them to walk outside in the yard. I use them as rain boots. I use them as snow boots. I'll show you guys what I got to transition those over to snow boots. And um, I really just use them as like a way to keep my feet dry and warm. So that's how I've been using them over the past year and four months. So here are my boots and the rubber itself has held up very, very nicely. The labels are still in good condition. Really all that you can see is just some dust and it can easily be cleaned off. I did not clean them for this video. There's some scuffs along the way, but there's not really any like deep scratches. Again, I'm light to medium user, so I'm sure if you use them more heavily that they might have some scratches. I don't know if you do have boots and you've had a different experience. Leave that down in the comments below so that everybody else can see how yours are holding up. The soles are in good shape. I just have some stuff in them, but the treads are still good. I don't think you're gonna be able to see down in there, but there's really no problem with the, um, inside of the boot the the insole has stayed in place the buckle is in good condition and everything's really held up very very well overall i would give these a total thumbs up as far as durability if you are intending to use them for what i have described in this video if you are going to use them in a different way then you might want to um see if you can find any info on the internet or read the comments below and see if anybody else has had a different experience but i just wanted to share that with you guys because that was something i really couldn't find when i was researching the boots was like anybody that had worn them i just saw a bunch of unboxings and first impressions and stuff like that they are an investment but i would do it all over again especially because i think the biggest part of the value of these boots is that they can easily transition over to snow boots and i actually did not purchase snow boots last year i moved from arizona to kansas city and kansas city has a lot of snow we actually had a very heavy snow year. It was actually really, really handy to have these boots. I didn't have to buy another pair and I use them as my one pair of snow boots. Okay, so Hunter makes a few different types of inserts that you can use. I'll link those down below in the description so you can see what I'm talking about, but they're like almost like quilted down. They slide down into the boot and you really can't see them up top from what I understand. Now, I read a bunch of reviews and initially this, I think in my past video, this is what I talked about. Um, I think in my past video, I talked about them and I was planning on purchasing them. I did a little digging on the internet and found that um, people were saying that they really like didn't stay in place and stuff like that. And that is just a personal pet peeve of mine. I do not like walking and having something like stuck under my foot, like feeling like you're walking on a rock or like something's like, like your socks out of place. So that's like a big pet peeve. So I did not get those, but I did get some inserts. Please excuse any dog fur that you see. I have two dogs proud dog mom. So these are like fleece long socks and everything that I'm showing you guys today, I will link down below just so that you can find it if they still carry it or I'll link something similar. These are just plain black fleece. You put your foot inside of them. So I go ahead and like put these on and then I put them down into the boot and then they roll over the top like this. Now with the buckle, they can stick out a little bit, but there's a way to kind of like flatten this and it doesn't bother me too much. Honestly, I, I typically wear these with yoga pants. It kind of like all blends in. So yeah, they roll over the top, still show the label. It's really nice and it makes them just kind of like nice and warm. All right, I also picked up some like knit ones that have like, they're actually fleeced down here and then they're like knit sweater type material up top and they also have the label um and then i also picked up these like grayish i think they're called grayish which is like gray and beige together and they're cable knit and they're super cute too makes them into more of like a little snow bunny boot so you put the sock on and then you slide down in it and honestly when i wore these boots during the winter time i would wear like a warm sock like on my foot just a regular sock 
put this over it and then slide it down into my boot. And with the rubber and the warmth of this and a warm sock, I was totally toasty and warm all winter long. So it was really, really nice. And like I said, these are not like the tall, like super fashionable, but I don't really care because when it's rainy and I, I don't necessarily want something that's going to feel so restricting as like a tall one. So that's why I chose this. Again, I was more for function over style. If you're looking for more of like the fashion rain boot look, the tall ones would also be cute with these little socks and they make them in uh, tall and short. So you can, you can pick out which sock. I feel like they are so worth the $200. That seems like a giant price tag to use them as a quality rain boot and a quality snow boot. My feet were never wet. I cannot remember one time my feet being cold last winter. I was so cozy when I wore these, um, but I did wear a thick sock like I said and then this over it and then I put it down into the boot but I was so toasty and warm so if you're looking to buy just one boot and have multi-purpose I think this is a great value and I think that the quality is very very good of the rubber like I said leave a comment down below if you've had a different experience or if you love your boots either way good bad whatever um, just share it below because I want this to be a place where someone who's doing research for boots can come and really get like true answers, detailed answers about the boots. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe down below if you wanna see more videos from me on this channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Psych. I wanna give a shout out to Peach. Because of a friend that I met in college, I have actually become a Peach ambassador. I just try stuff and see if I like it. And um, I'm gonna show you guys a few of my favorite pieces from their fall collection. This jacket is from their fall collection and I will link this down below for you guys. I love this floppy collar. I love that it zips. It's actually kind of cozy, but it's still light. And I'm so excited. It has these adorable little like pockets down here. I think it would look really, really cute with a black and white striped shirt underneath. So I'm really, really excited to add this to my wardrobe this fall. I'm sure you guys will see me on my Instagram wearing this jacket because I think it's gonna be a staple for me. My second favorite piece for this fall are these tortoise shell earrings. They are so cute. They partnered up with a designer and I will put her name and the link to these earrings down below. I think they would be so cute with like a black top or also even with this green color, the tortoise shell looks really, really cute with the gold and this moss green. It looks so adorable. So they have an adorable fall collection. Like I said, I'll link everything below. I hope you guys like it. Just wanted to give them a quick shout out and bye for real this time. <laughs>